So we have a little mic here. It's a bit windy in that mic now. This is yeah. Not too windy. Hey man! Sure it's not too windy? No. No, we can handle it. Welcome to our little office. Ah, office. Look at this car. Yeah. I got another car just in case they, you know, start screaming at me. Because okay, it can't wear red hats anymore. <laughs> no, it oh. can. It really can. Um, All right. School All right. Where do you, where do you want this? Where do you want it? <laughs> now here's my question. Where's the fur? The fur is coming here. No, but the fur is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're putting the fur on top. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll put it. Coming, we'll, right? and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Let me see. You know, and this sucks because I have a logo here that is very noisy. Hold okay. This for a second. Like, Man, you, you don't need bubble bee. I know. <laughs> well, I'm a bear. <laughs> cool. Can I put it? You can put it on my skin, man. Uh, you guys are getting. But you have to. Well, you have to get oh, it okay, on the knees. Well. I do it like this. Yeah. This is yeah. not about. This it's funny. It's funny because on my show, Danny has this one. Because I put it on the shirt. Mm -hmm. He has this one bald spot. Uh huh. So he's very hairy. That's where I put the mic. Is is, is the the bald spot because you keep putting the mic there? No, no. It's, it's it a natural. <laughs> it's it's a genetic bald spot. Oh yeah. But cool. he has he has like you see my hair. He has like five times more than that. Right. And ten times thicker. So. All right. Just, Except you know. for this bolt. Okay. So let's see. How's the how's the noise? I feel like it's kind of like it's not in the hey good man, place. Hey man, you can hear it. Then I can drive. We'll give it some talking. Yeah. Oh wow. It sounds damn good. Oh my god. What the? What is this baby seal? <laughs> <laughs> very well, very well. You shouldn't have put Vaseline on before you came out, man. No. Dude, I came from a alien factory. So, alien factory? <laughs> no, like it's, it's about like all the aliens and Area 52, like some show about that. Okay. You know, it's like, hey, people keep shooting, so yeah. I keep showing up. <laughs> you know? Hey, Paul, well, we well, should have got that car in the front. We should have got yeah. that. Oh, that's, no, that's a like bad that one. Car. You don't like it? Dude, they, have, they make no space in those cars. <laughs> There's no space <laughs> in this car. <laughs> that's fine. Do you want me to move? I, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> you, you, you know what's funny is like, uh, are you guys staying here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell us a story. No, it's just, it, it's not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, it's not people, the worst. When people ask me about the stratosphere, it's not the worst. <laughs> okay. So you live here? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I've been yeah. here three days and I feel like I've been violated. Why? What happened? I don't know. Some guy, some big guy gave me his anaconda. <laughs> oh, he's like, somebody threw a snake on top of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we gotta watch your back here, man. Yeah, man. I had to watch my neck. I had to pay him ten dollars for the for to the take the snake well. off. That's a good business. <laughs> <laughs> put snake on, put snake on people's necks and asking them for money. Well, it was discretionary ten dollars. Um, you haven't seen anything in this city, buddy. No, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Um, hey, hey! If you live with both your kidneys. It's a successful trip. <laughs> if you wake up in a bathtub with ice <laughs> and something <laughs> missing, yeah. No, no. Can I do a right here? Yeah, you can always. All right. Uh, actually, you with me, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so you've been here for 18 years? Uh, I don't know anymore, but uh, I think so. So I was here two years from 2001 to 2003, then I went to Portland, Oregon to 2006 yeah. and then I came back all the way to now so last so I've been here 13 years plus the two oh 15 years okay oh cool I'm, I'm bad with numbers I guess but how in the earth did you get into sound uh, I was a uh, you know the usual stuff classical guitar player guitar player music <laughs> school no you know it's like well me then, too man me too yeah. I was a guitar no and, and, and this is actually what the, was the first guitar song you ever learned to play uh, oh, Michelle, of course. Beatles, Michelle, Michelle oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, four. Nice. Yeah, but then recording music, then uh, I recorded music. I can't wait for all that stuff to be electric. <laughs> it, it will happen. It's it a sound happen. recorder's dream. <laughs> no, it will happen. Oh, yeah, so 
I was recording music in Portland and then the, I had an Anime Multiface 8. And, yeah. uh, and then M-Audio started coming out with the cheap USBs and like everybody started recording. Okay, we'll take it easy. Yeah. So yeah, everybody started recording in their house and uh, kind of, I guess kind of, I envision the future of uh, music recording is not very, you know. And then you see like people, uh, big studios closing doors and stuff. And I was like, okay, so what's the job that, and I've done some ENG news gathering and some like, you know, indie movies back home. Okay. But yeah. then I was like, so what's the job that, uh, actually wouldn't uh, get sent to India or replaced by a machine prima or, or just like who would prosper and I was like okay I gotta go go into TV yeah yeah I feel like my, my hat's gonna fly away it's pretty windy man yeah you know, that that's what happens in uh that's what happens in Vegas. Is that, is, is I that, showed him, but it stays in Vegas. The, the no. wind stays in Vegas. <laughs> no, but I, I, I showed him. I showed you the email yesterday because yeah, we yeah. shot in the middle, in the middle, uh, in the middle of the desert, and uh, yeah, and uh, we shot in the middle of the Ooh. desert. And, and, hi guys. <laughs> you got the same car. This, no, they got a the Mustang. No, it's not the same car. That's a Chevy. Yeah, is that? A, yeah. Oh, they're the same car. Yeah. Oh, it's windy, man. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. Why is it so cold here in Vegas? It's a desert. In Denmark it's f***ing cold, but then you don't expect it to go to Vegas and then it's cold. Ooh. It's not cold right now, it's just windy. But at least yeah. the audio is good, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, we good. I don't know. Yeah. No, we good, we good. Yeah? I've been, I've been scratching on my uh, seat belt the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you, I thought that. No. I thought no. that was just my voice. <laughs> no. Well, let me see. Yeah, check it out, see if it's okay. I think you hear everything. You I hear like Caleb how, and I like how it does it. You can you can hear the Wow, that's pretty impressive. And I have hair too. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they're following us and they think you're dancing. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can dance. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my kid pulls me out and says, now you dance. And I have to <laughs> dance and I'm horrible dancing. But no, this is this is very impressive. You gotta you gotta show me how you do that. Very often you gotta put a mic on a coding, you know, it's like well, the only reason, like, see, every concealer out, out there is a plastic. Yeah. And when you force a plastic on a shirt, especially on a soft shirt, yeah, it it may it outlines the outside of the of the concealer, right? Yeah. And yours is I had your uh, 4063s. Yeah. You can really put them on a the shirt very strongly, and since they're rubber, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't outline, it doesn't make a square. You don't have like a somebody walking yeah, yeah. with a square on the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. And another thing is, uh, since it's rubber, if the mic is getting jiggled left and right, it, it doesn't hurt the sleeve. No. You know. But um, I'm very happy with those. Oh, I'm glad. I'm and glad. with the metal. Yeah. Because now the the, the slim the uh, the 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 my slim concealer that had the metal, which is a great great idea. Uh, it was inside a hard plastic and was making noise. Yeah. Yours is rubber. Yours doesn't make. Because that's what, what all, all, most people were asking me about the, when I posted the mount about the metal. And I'm like, no, it, it doesn't make any noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I really like that it's rubber because I don't like the, the hard surface that you, that you get out of plastic or, and, and that kind of stuff. It transportates a lot of the vibrations down to the microphone. Yeah. And your capsule is just right there next to the. Also, also. You know when you when you put it on like what if you put it on the curve on uh, of the like uh, male breast or even like it, it has to be in between like the female breast and the and the body. Have it, yeah. it has to be rubber because your mouth actually adjusts to the if there is a curve it will just like stick to it. Yeah. You know, and the, the hard mics you can't really do that. So what is, what is the worst thing that kind of happened to you when you are out recording and you just kind of think? This was so bad, or everything uh, went wrong, or well, let me think. Oh, today I told you about oh, today. today yeah. yeah, I mean it, it's uh, my uh, limo to uh, XOR cable for my wireless boom was not in the car because it's NAB week and uh, 
I was actually looking at my call sheet from yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I had like hundred and something like texts in between last night. They sent me the call sheet and 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 today. So, but no, it's I forgot my cable. I had to like take my uh, backup Nomad from the car and uh, use use it like that. Cause uh, lesson learned. Cause I always have backup of everything in my trunk. Yeah. Except that limo cable for my wireless boom. Yeah. Yeah, having a party. <laughs> so, what's the best best gig you've ever been on? Uh, let me think. Kind of like. I mean, but I, I like boxing. Yeah, I like when we do like. Uh, I did a thing with a Cuban boxer on Tuesday. Oh. And. Uh, He's, uh, he's very good and um, before he came to the States, he's never seen a hundred hour bill in his life and oh. now his potential will make millions. Oh. And I like boxing because you start following the family and you see all the characters and, uh, and you see the dream. Yeah. And then you go because usually you have like a, the one fighter camp and the other fighter camp and, and you get emotionally involved and then you go and shoot the fight. Not for the life, for the documentary part of it. Yeah. And it's it's I, I like seeing human emotions like that, you know. And uh, yeah, yeah. I I like uh, I like fighters and tape's very important. Yeah. I use your tape when I like fighters, you know, because uh, and it, you know if something happens, I just you know I might never actually no I've never had like a ju jujitsu people uh, of a mic, you know. Yeah. But uh, I like to have people mic, even even with the chlorine noise. It's like, yeah, it's uh, you, you can you can always have a boom in somebody's face. I can use the little Zaxcom ZMT mm -hmm. with a now with the cold. I mean, I'm so happy I have one sixty six here, yeah. and I can mic I got some. Two. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 you know, one, one day I'll, I'll deserve a second one. No, but um, and. Um, I mean, I don't do any, like, you know how people tape the mic and stuff? I don't like doing that. No. I think it's extra, you're creating extra problems with the with the cable being loose and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I, I, I just put one tape and then adjust the cable down. Yeah. Uh, I do the usual, you've seen my short gloves, right? Yeah, yeah. I like doing short gloves because if you don't have to go in the ankle, what's the point of a long one? No, exactly. Because uh, when you mic somebody, it's like, yeah. mic. Transmitter, that's it. You don't have to like go around, like put it, then you're touching the antenna, or especially back in the analog days. Sorry, Wizzy. <laughs> so <laughs> so you're making the, the cables uh, approximately... 90 uh, centimeters. Okay, yeah. And, but this is what I do. I, actually, I don't do it now because I'm older, but uh, I have Gene Karim. Yeah. I get like the regular words at 1.5 meters. Yeah. What's that in feet? Should I say it in feet? Or? You can say it in feet. Ah, 1.5 meters Google. is Google. Five, Google. 5 feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah 5 feet. Five, yeah. All right. Four so when, when, when he cuts it, he inserts a micro dot male. OK. So even, I mean, I have a lot of mics, but even if I need to use that particular mic as a long version, yeah. I just attach it and yeah. the remaining cable, because he puts micro dot, he cuts the cable and puts micro dot female and male connections in between. OK. So um, I, I like that because um, I hate adjusting cables and they, they pop out. It's just so much easier when you have the tape, you have a short uh, laugh and you have the small transmitter. Yeah. And uh, my thing is if you mic him in the beginning very well, everything after that is fine. Yeah. Then you can kind of relax and just mix. The same with like, the story. The same with like the. The, the football jerseys are kind of weird. I, I did some, uh, I did a bunch of pilots for uh, American football. Yeah. And uh, that needs a fur, because they're open, mm -hmm. and you put, you're putting the mic on the on the front, like the yeah. microphone part of it. They always need furries. Oh, cool. Uh, what, <laughs> what is your coolest tool at the moment? Huh. Well, of course, my one unit. Yeah. It's the one you sell, Bill. You build yeah, yourself? the one that I yeah. built, yeah. Because uh, easy to transport and small, light. I wish I got it because uh, I, you know, I often, uh, when I switch locations, I'll just get in the car and drive with it. Because mm -hmm. it's like right here, it's like that much. 
yeah. so I don't even like I don't even like if I'm in a hurry I, I, I don't want to like unstrap my uh, you know my uh, harness and like put it on the side and stuff I'm just oh, I'm just gonna drive with it mm -hmm. with the headphones I mean I don't record while driving because that's dangerous but I don't like take it off and but that's how, nice yeah but how does it work one unit is only the mixer and then you have the uh, the wireless uh, built in uh, yourself, you build it in yourself. Yeah, and the uh, mic plexer is inside the Nomad, and the battery is inside the Nomad, so it slides in. Okay. And uh, and it's retiring soon. It's retiring soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna retire it when I get my hands on the Nova one unit. Oh. Because it's mower and uh, good. If you see, if so you that's, see, that's your idea. That makes sense. You, yeah, if yeah, if you see the craftsmanship on them on my one unit, it's it's not the best. It's like my bags. Yeah. You know? I gotta show my bags. Like uh, my first when I first started like sewing on a machine. Uh -huh. like, my, like you can see, I can show my back like the beginning of making the back. Yeah. Everything goes like this. <laughs> yeah. And like, I when you go like towards like the end, like it's getting a little straighter and stuff, but. Uh, you should see the first wind bubble Dude. I made. I have to I have to cut them around. Do you do you still have it? I yeah. want to see that. <laughs> no, I, well I'll toss them away, but in the first I, I kinda like hard to do in the first place. Dude, it's it's crazy because uh, people people I mean of course I enjoy when I make something yeah. and it works. Yeah. And I need it and nobody else makes it. And I yeah. actually solve a problem. Yeah. That's why I like your because uh, yeah. If I call him like, hey, like, remember like before, like with the softies, like, hey, this is gonna be cool. So, yeah. So how how are you doing that? The people are buying it. I don't think people are aware of how amazing fur is. Do you sell a lot of that fur? Well, yeah. 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 You know what's the best thing that like nothing else works is uh, a shaved neck on a cower. Yeah. Yeah. You put the fur on the shirt. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when the shirt is going on the shaved neck. You don't, you don't hear it because you can put the mic anywhere, especially some starchy, horrible shirt. You still you still hear the actual, because some people have hair over here, you know? Yeah. You still still hear like the, the scratching on the on the cover. So yeah. I will, and I reuse them of course. I will cut, uh, I cut a piece and kind of put it on the shirt so uh, he's going against the fur. And really helps. Yeah. Oh, always, cool. always have to have fur with famous people. I try to avoid the skin because I, I, with with some some other tapes, I've seen stuff happen, you know. And uh, okay. it's it, and it's um, John Paul. Oh, I forgot to call John Paul. John Paul was telling me he he, he was doing a movie and uh, the actor was like had like a rash from I don't remember super ticket or something. Yeah, and she was not, you know, she was she was not complaining like she was she wasn't like a making a big deal, but she had a scene where she's like kind of like more naked, okay. and she was like, hey, you know, like the, you can't shoot the, the scene if she has a rash. No. So they, tapes tapes important, man. Yeah, it is. And that's why I think it's very important to to uh, to do the natural thing, so natural rubber. The, oh, is your natural? Yeah, and that's why we only do it in two Can colors. Can you make me a, a mattress? And what? A natural a mattress. Natural, natural rubber mattress. mattress. Natural rubber mattress. <laughs> Bubble no. view. And I want no. the fur. Yeah. So I feel yeah. comfortable. <laughs> I, can, I can roll like a pimp in my fur. <laughs> nope. Have you seen the movie Superfly? Uh -uh. You never seen the Kariwaks that are like all fur and have like the big lights and stuff? No. Oh, dude, you gotta check that because the pimps were all about fur. <laughs> Come on. And everything's fur. Yeah. Everything's white fur and uh, you open the trunk, it's yeah. white fur and they're dressed in fur. Like they're all fur. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool, man. You, you gotta check it out, man. It's amazing. But uh, Brazilian. <laughs> you know, you know that they have these people called furries here. Like no. They dress like fur. There are these people that uh, pretend they're cats. And actually, there was a case. Uh, they require. They work for some corporation, and they require the corporation to get him a sandbox in the office. Okay. Because if not, like. It's discrimination against them, like they're being cast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Dude, that's a new <laughs> story. It's like, but what did he do with the sandbox? Well, he's a cat. He goes into it. Oh, you know? I'll just type it right here. Pimp. <laughs> Pimp. Seventies. Fur. I don't know how to spell denim. I think denim. Coach. Yeah. So these are the cars. 
like there were like pimped out Kariwaks, right? Oh, cool. Yeah, man. we would get Kariwaks and we put like this big ass like. <laughs> so let me see if I can find a f the actual fur, the pimps. Oh. It was all about fur, and uh, you see <laughs> that guy has a baseball bat. <laughs> you know, I mean. Oh, no, that's, that's cool. No, that's well, that's yeah, well, yeah. That's like Ali G, yeah. but uh, okay. So they all had fur coats, like yeah. all the pimps, like. The more expensive the coat in the seven is, like the the the, the better like. Hey, like no, I think I I actually can imagine you dressed like a like a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> it actually took me a long time to make that fur because it have to be right. I know, I know. Yeah. I know. This so, is pretty windy here. So, yeah. It's, yeah. So. so.